like that good inside your mind Just watch me break Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And I know for the last couple of weeks you've been keeping up with Layla and Adrian. And while you guys have been doing that, August and I have been working on our Bloxburg house renovations. We're currently at Home Depot because we have a couple more things we have to buy so we can finish up the renovations. But once we're done here, we're gonna go back into Bloxburg and you guys will get to see the full tour. So with that being said, let's get started. So we just made it inside and there are so many aisles to go through. So I guess we'll just start here. Do you think we need any more light bulbs or anything? These light bulbs are expensive. It wouldn't hurt to get a couple, just in case. Definitely get the ones that are warm white because those are my favorite. I'm gonna go look at these light fixtures. They have a bunch of chandeliers and ceiling fans and stuff. I'm pretty sure one of the ceiling fans has to be replaced, but I don't see any like underneath but I might have to just ask a worker. Okay, so back there just more lighting and stuff, but this aisle is the paint aisle. And I'm thinking that we should probably retouch the paint. Oh, I do see some nice ones right here. Let's see, maybe like a little light pink moment. Maybe something that matches my shirt. Okay, I can't really reach up there, so if you could grab these ones. I think that one says bridal pink. Oh, that one is so pretty. Um, Pink bliss, gentle butterfly, and... Hmm, this one's a little darker than what I wanted, but melted ice cream. I love all the names of paint. They're so fun. Honestly, the bridal shower one is really pretty. Hmm, okay, let's go see if they have it over here. That's a really big bucket, and that looks like the perfect size, because we don't need to really get too much and then waste it. Oh, this color is gonna look so pretty. I'll go give it to the lady back there to mix. Be right back. And I think I saw some paint brushes right here. Okay, let's just get this pack of four. That should be good. And then the little tray to put the paint in. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you be able to mix this up for me? Okay, I'll be back to pick it up. Now, where did Akila go? Oh, there you are. Chill, I told you I was gonna be in the next aisle over. I could hear you calling for me. Now that you found me though, do you need anything in this aisle? Oh, yes, actually. I need a hammer and a drill. This one should get the job done now. Where are those drills? Get the job done. You about to hit me upside the head with the hammer or something? Sometimes you be tempting me, not going to lie. I have no clue what the difference is between any of these. Besides the price, I'm going for the cheaper one. Ah! <laughs> Now this car is getting real heavy, but I think it's time to go pick up the paint because she's waving you down. Oh, right, I'll run over and get it. August had gotten the paint and everything, but then he made me come down this aisle because I wanna change the floors. Okay, well, go ahead and look around. As long as you keep it linen. You know how much I love my linen. I know, I know. That wood is so gorgeous. It kind of looks like the one Layla and Adrian have in their house. Perks of having a husband who's a construction worker. It's the best. Okay, so I think we pretty much finished all of our shopping here at Home Depot. It was super fun. And now we're just paying for everything. Well, August is paying for everything. Okay, okay. Okay guys, we just finished paying for everything and now we're gonna head back to Bloxburg so you can see the renovations we made to our house. Yes. 
now that we're done with all of our shopping at Home Depot, I can finally show you guys the renovations we have made to our Bloxburg family role play house. So with that being said, let's get started. Obviously we're in the front of the house right now and I didn't really make too many changes out here besides adding this hula hoop that the kids can use as well as the jump rope. I just really love these animations. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I did get rid of that like swinging porch chair that used to be back here. And I did add some like extra gardening supplies onto the deck. But other than that, there's really no other changes. So let's just go inside the house because this is what you guys have been waiting for anyways. Okay, so nothing in this room has changed. The only thing that's changed is the two rooms on the side. So this room used to be my office, but this is now the kids' activity room. I really like the layout of this room a lot better now. I really hate when the rooms are so crowded that we don't even have like a clear path to walk, but now we do. So the furniture itself hasn't changed. We still have the activity table, this chalkboard slash whiteboard that I have made, the custom keyboard, the storage closet, and the bunny hutch. Chocolate the bunny is currently not in his cage. By the time we film the next role play in the house, he will be in there. But yeah, we just have way more space now. But I bet you're wondering what we did with the old playroom. So there's now a door that actually leads us to me and my husband August's room. Once again, the furniture hasn't changed, just the layout of everything. And I don't know, I really like us being in the front of the house instead of the back. And this really big window is super nice too. So we have our dresser, a TV, we have the AC, um, a little nightstand, and of course our bed. This is a custom bed that I made and we have a bookshelf. And now this is our hallway that leads us to our private restroom, but nothing in the restroom or the closet have changed. Besides maybe a couple more items added onto the counters. But obviously you guys are here to see the renovations, so let's move on to the next renovated room, which is our family living room. I have had a love-hate relationship with this room. I didn't really like it that much, but now that I changed out the couch, I think I like it a lot better. I've also angled the fireplace and I think that looks really nice. This is the same um, like TV stand I built in the original tour. The main thing besides the couch that I added was this playpen, like a little crib for baby Amir. But this is the perfect spot because everyone can kind of keep their eye on him. And here's a closer look. I can't wait for him to be able to use it when he comes over. Now, I did add a backyard for summer. I hope we get to use it in a couple role plays before we get into the back to school videos. It's not too big, but we have a pool. And then you can see the grill and the seating area. Here's a better look at it. My favorite orange tree, a little lounging area, as well as a sandbox for the kids. I really missed having a pool in this house and we didn't have a backyard, so everything kind of just, you know, came together and made sense. This is my favorite pool ever. I'm not the biggest fan of the in-ground pools in the game. So this one's perfect for the amount of space that we have. And I think this backyard is just the right size. I feel like when I go way too big with my builds. It kind of just looks too empty. But like I said earlier, I feel like it just really looks nice back here. Oh yeah, I have a lemon tree as well. I love the fruit cheese in Bloxburg. When I tell you kitchens are my favorite, I truly mean it. I love building kitchens and I think this one looks perfect. I love the little like island in the middle just so we have some extra counter space that's not like too off to the side. It's just more convenient having it right here. It splits the kitchen into two ways. And then in the back of the room, we have the dining area. The stove and the oven are right next to each other. We also have some pots and pans. And then from this side where we have the sink, the dishwasher, 
and the refrigerator, you can see our brand new backyard. This is our new breakfast area, or just like a little snack area. We don't have the pantry anymore. And you can see that this window also shows our backyard. So it's completely private in here. Completely loving this kitchen. I always have to have like a little fruit bowl or a lemon bowl. I like the lemon bowl actually because it looks like I picked these myself. So now moving on to the other side of the house, we have a brand new laundry room. So here's the washer and dryer. And then this is what the other side looks like. Of course I have to keep the sink in here. There's also just a rack of clothes, the hamper, which is a build hack. And last but not least, the ironing board. I don't know, I just like the cozy vibes of this laundry room. And our garage. I went back to the way that this raised platform was facing in the original tour. And of course we have our car. We also have our storage shelves, as well as our garbage and recycling bins. And that's it for everything downstairs. Um, you guys know my office used to be in this room. So now my office has moved upstairs into this area. So it's pretty much the same. It's kind of just downsized, but I feel like it's fine because I didn't really use the office that much anyways. And then this is what the other side of the room looks like. I don't know, I feel like it's a really good size because I'm the only one that ever really comes into the office, which is like rare anyways. So it's perfect here. It was definitely time to give this room a new meaning. The um workout room did also change just a tiny bit, only because we got the gym update with a lot of new equipment. And those are it for all of the renovations in the house. And I said in the house because I finally finished the two buildings across the street. So we have a nice little community market and a pizza place. Let's check out the community market first. So over here we have um, a little mailbox, a park bench. This is a little ATM. I really wish we could use ATMs in Bloxburg. I also used my cart build hack. And this is where you go to return them. And a quick overview inside. So this is what it looks like when you first walk in. We have some canned items, chips and cereal. There's a lot of flour. There's also some fruits and veggies. There's milk, meat, eggs, cheese, butter. And then we have one of those refrigerators with a couple of bottled drinks. There's protein powder and nutrition bars. Of course, I had to add a little bakery. The cakes look so cute on display. There's also boxes that you can put your cakes in. And behind that, it's just a little storage area. And last but not least, the checkout stand. So that's it for our little community market. And here we are at the pizza place. We have a couple seats outside where you can enjoy your pizza. I love the ginormous pizza on the top. And once we go inside, this is what it looks like. This is where you can order your pizza and you can also have a seat on the bar stools. And of course we have another seating area and in the back where all the pizzas are made. There's some dough that's being rolled out in all the ingredients. And I'm super duper proud of these custom pizza ovens that I made. And that's it for my updated family role play plot tour. If you do want to see what the kids rooms look like, you can go back to my original tour, which will be linked in the eye in the corner because the rooms are all the same, like I mentioned. But if you enjoyed watching, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!